Māori, the indigenous people of Aotearoa, rich in culture, fiercely independent, staunch and proud people. Unfortunately, that same staunch pride can, and has to some, created a stigma around mental health in Māori communities, and this will be the focus of my discussion today. Historically, Māori held a supernatural view towards mental health. They associated it to insanity, dementia, intellectual disability, or even being possessed by spirits. Fast forward to Western times, those long-standing yet misleading stereotypes have influenced minds to believe that mental health is a condition that reflects bad behaviour and weakness. This has resulted in misunderstanding, denial, and a reluctance for those who need it to seek help. Ministry of Health statistics revealed that when compared to non-Māori, Māori experienced significantly higher rates of mental illness. Why? Well, colonisation, higher unemployment rates, poverty, cultural alienation, the list goes on. Research also indicates that mental health in Māori is underdiagnosed, and half of those who are diagnosed had no contact with healthcare services. Reports have found that one of the reasons for underdiagnosing is due to communication difficulties and the patient's own stigma surrounding mental health. Yep, it seems I've opened a can of worms that raise a lot of questions. However, narrowing it back down to stigma, this has been considered as one of the biggest barriers to recovery in Māori mental health. Paramedics attend to mental health patients regularly, many of which are Māori. Some could even say that our interaction with the patient is their first step into the greater healthcare system. So what we can do in our brief amount of time has the potential to lay the foundation for future healthcare interactions so we can all achieve positive outcomes for the patient. So what can paramedics do? Traditional Māori perspectives may challenge some treatment goals, so recognising that Māori may perceive and deal with mental health problems differently is an important first step. The paramedic-patient interaction is intimate, so our quality improvement solutions should focus on communication. Consider utilising te whare tapawha. Māori have always asserted that their culture is linked to their well-being. Te whare tapawha acknowledges that and can help strengthen relationships by incorporating spiritual, mental, physical and family components into every phase of the patient's care. This openness and understanding creates trust and this trust enables us to have those conversations, provide our Māori patients with relevant inf information and educate them in their whānau in order to help normalise mental health. We need to help our Māori patients unlearn that stigma surrounding mental health and recommend solutions that are in line with their values. So they become more inclined to acknowledge their condition, reach out for help and accept the support that they need. Thank you.